sorry. <laughs> uh, now I'm back from Geneva, which is in the French speaking part of Switzerland. I just can't stop saying bonjour, <laughs> bonsoir. <laughs> um, I really do have a plan to learn French, so gotta work on my accent. But if you saw my previous update video, this is the start of my kind of weekly vlog. Except this one is late because it's Thursday. So this will probably just be the weekend. Um, my plan is to stop at like Sunday or maybe Monday. I don't know the plan. And then have it out by like Tuesday or Wednesday and then, you know, so on and so forth. We'll see. I've never done consistent weekly, weekly vlogging. So this is an adventure for both of us. But I literally got up a few minutes ago, maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. Nigel's outside. Hi, Boots. Do you want to play? He already had his breakfast. And he had a little morning zoom zooms. Look at him, look at him. Nigel, oh Lord, look at him. Got the zoom zooms. Get the zoom zooms. I don't want your little ball. So uh, yeah, no crazy plans today. I need to tidy up because my house is a bit of a mess. And ooh, ooh, oh, too close. So I started how to fail it. Mm, something to fall. I'll end up putting it here. I started a book last night that I really like in romance. I hope to finish that today. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you on those uh, adventures. But uh, you can stop looking at me. <laughs> give me some, give me. What you doing? Get off of me. What are you doing? It's too strong. It's too strong. Why you do that? <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> it's too early for this. I haven't even had my waffles. But it's a cloudy day and it's kind of windy. He's got his morning energies. But I need to make me some breakfast. <laughs> okay, washed moisturized sunscreen so now i'm not crusty so now i can go have my waffles put on some sunscreen well i had my breakfast it's all cloudy outside so downstairs is messy so i'm going to clean i also went upstairs and took the sheets off the bed because <clears throat> like i said i don't have i mentioned andrew was sick so i don't want that <clears throat> so me and nigel are well we slept on the couch last night we have a guest bedroom with a bed and everything it has a lot of clothes on it clean clothes so i just slept on the couch with andrew no with nigel last night but anyway <clears throat> i took the sheets off of the bed to wash them so you can have fresh sheets when he comes home from work because i am amazing and does he deserve i don't know but uh <laughs> so i started a load well <clears throat> with the duvet and the wash and so downstairs it's a mess because before i went to geneva andrew was sick and i mean i've been in really bad depression and I got sick he left for a work trip and I left for Geneva he got stuck because he got COVID he had to quarantine I was still in Geneva came back now he's sick again <laughs> and you know then me just coming back so I still got my suitcase downstairs so it's a mess and I'm feeling good decent today let me not get crazy I'm feeling decent today so this is my project today downstairs now i know if brie from brie sharia reads is reading this i don't know if she is or is watching this is like do not show your messy house on the internet which i understand but <clears throat> this is like i get clutter right <clears throat> i buy books they might sit on my table for a week before i take them upstairs or i wash my clothes and i fold them and i put them in the basket and they don't make it upstairs i have clutter all the time this right now is not normal this is just a a, comp a combination of the circumstances of the last couple weeks. But I am going to show you what it looks like and clean um, because people, now there are some people who are just dirty and lazy, but mental health, and then if you add in any kind of physical illness or whatever to that, is a bitch and it really messes you up. Even if you are generally a really orderly, neat, clean person, and the same with like personal hygiene. Sometimes you just do not have the strength to do it. Like you, <clears throat> like it may stress you out. Like it stresses me out to have so much stuff everywhere and like not, you know, not being my normal schedule. Not, I usually vacuum every day. Like 
but sometimes you just physically, you can't, you mentally cannot do these things. And so I just feel like I'm showing you this because this is what happened. And I'm gonna clean it up now because I'm in a better place today. But it it will it will happen again. It's just the life of suffering with mental illness. And sometimes you just fucking can't. So anyway, I'm just gonna show you briefly what it looks like. And a lot of it is clean clothes that I just have not had the energy to take upstairs. Clean sheets that I haven't taken back upstairs. My suitcase is still on the floor. Stuff I unpacked from like my backpack that I had on the plane. So you can just see, you're not alone. Now, if you're just doing it because you're lazy and you're dirty, that's different. <laughs> but I understand. Mental illness is hard. Especially physical illness is hard. Combined? Bitch. It's like going to war. So anyway, I'm going to, I made myself a cup of tea. <clears throat> so I'm going to put some milk and sugar in that and then I'm going to get to tidying. So Brie, forgive me. I'm so sorry. February 17th, and we are in part two of our interview with Colby and Kimmy Reddish. Is that right? Did I get the names right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, and we just got done.
clean, so I'm gonna take the laundry upstairs. And then I'm gonna wash Nigel's bed, trash, and I'm gonna straighten up and vacuum and stuff. But just look at that. Look at that. So it's okay. Depression is hard, mental illness is hard, life is hard. So if it gets messy, it's okay. But when you can, straighten it up. It's not perfect, but I cleaned off the table. I do have cardboard up there I need to take out. Well, that's all cleaned off and it was cluttered. And when I was removing stuff, I was putting it here to take upstairs. So I took all of that upstairs. That is something we need to return. And that's just our normal entry table. It's got stuff, it's fine. But all of this, I've got my couch blankets in the wash, my pillow. Like we just have different pillows that we actually lay on, not the throw ones. Those pillowcases are in the wash. Clean this off, clean this off. I just gotta put up the wipes. Here's the baby. Say hi. Say hello. He's so stank. You don't want to say hi. I like move the chair. I vacuum behind it. So that's just something my laptop, iPad, and the books. I'm currently reading, and uh, this plant had died. Threw it out. Now this is Nigel's stuff. I need to go through this, but right now it's fine. It's just his toys and snuffle mats and a dirt old bed that I should get rid of. I'm gonna get there, okay? But it's. It's better. This is a little Easter basket basket. And then this is his other bed that sometimes I lay on myself. And since my couch blankets are in the wash, I do not like to lay on my couch with all the blankets. And so I'm gonna lay on the floor on his bed <laughs> and read. Say hi! Why are you being so stank? You were just outside. Anyway, it's all clean now. Okay, I'm about to light a candle and read my book. Say bye! Nigel, you need to say something. Say hello. I don't want your ball. Okay, here's the thing. When I lay on Nigel's bed, he's mad. He wants to lay with me. He does not want to be in his place where he has his own space. I'm like, can I just lay on this bed? I don't even fit on the whole thing. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, come on. Come on. Look at him. He gonna come squeeze up in here. Like we got room for two. Come on. Lay down. Okay. Okay, come on. Lay down. Get in the bed. Or you can, oh, look at him. He just laying right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, boo boo. Okay, lay back down. He's in my pillow. Lay back down. Thank you. No, you need it out. Tell the people hi. Hello. This is the one who gave me germs, the jerk. And the one who's taking me to the middle of nowhere. Everybody, let's hate on Andrew. Boo! Tomato, tomato, tomato. I'm throwing tomatoes. <laughs> oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Nigel, please. You're on camera. Be civilized. Here we are having some tea. Anyway, ooh, what is this, honey? It's giving high top. It's giving high top fade. I wanted to update you because I am a little over halfway through how to fall, how to falling it flirting. No, falling in falling in love. I don't know. Whatever book I told y'all was reading, and I love it so much. It's just making me smile and I'm just like grinning and giggling because they just have such a good friendship and their banter is so cute and funny and just I know their feelings for each other and they haven't told each other they don't think the other one likes the other one and I'm just like oh the eggs so I really like it and I plan on finishing it today so I'm gonna go do that okay bye Wow, it is 2.13 on Friday, and I was like, oh yeah, I need to update the vlog. So today is gonna be day one of me decluttering. I have not decided what I'm gonna get rid of, but I need to get rid of one thing today since it's the first day. But I already washed my hair this morning and tried to do it in something. I'm never good at it, because I'm just never good at doing my hair, but it's clean. And so I'm exhausted, but right now I have dino nuggets in the oven and I'm about to make myself a salad. So you can watch that because that's so exciting, but really no big plans today. Besides reading, I'm reading, I'll put it up here. It is by Christina C. Jones and it's really good so far. I think I'm like, am I like 20, 
25% in. I'm really excited to see how this relationship develops. Um, he owns a bar that he's also trying to start like a microbrewery and he was in a relationship but got divorced. He's in his early 40s. She was in a relationship, I think a marriage, that was abusive that she's trying to get out of and she's a graphic designer and he just hired her. So I'm like, mm. so that's where I am. They've already had a sexy times because they met up um, when they first met and I was like, okay, but it's Christina C. Jones. So like, I don't know why I'm surprised because it's always good. So that's it, gonna make my salad, continue reading. Nothing too wild. Oh, I finished the ultimatum today and I'm so like, I'll have to give y'all thoughts later because my arm is tired, but I am disappointed. water bottle so hopefully that works Andrew's playing his game okay we're gonna try it again so yesterday was Friday the 15th which was supposed to be the first day of my decluttering and I didn't get rid of anything so today is the second day so I have to get rid of three things total so my first thing um, is this beat up copy if y'all saw my one update video where I told the saga about this book and why it arrived like this I'll link it if you would like to hear me rant about it but I don't need this copy anymore I was, obviously it just keeps it just makes me mad to look at it so I'm gonna throw this away I mean this literally can't even be no one's gonna read this this is disgusting so I'm gonna get rid of this so that's my one thing for yesterday so now two things for today <clears throat> I've been holding on to this for so long but I need to just let it go one because one of the little things is missing I don't know where it went and it's too small this is Nigel's first life jacket he hated the pool but he was so cute and this is his first little life jacket mm. and I've just kept it and there really is no use for it what are you talking to me? Oh, talking about you, Joe. oh, and yeah, something's missing. So I'm gonna let this go. And then finally, my second thing today is we ordered Christmas cards. Christmas of 2020. We had, what? No, it's fine. They know. They know. You loud ass. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Christmas cards because we got photos taken. Me and Joe and Nigel so then they like it was this whole drama they finally got here and they got here late so they were once we would send them out they would be late so we get the box all of the christmas cards are empty they're supposed to have photos right here now they have a message on the back they have merry christmas they have us our names here all all empty i don't know how many this is like 100 all empty and they've just kept them i don't know why and also the envelopes. Now, I feel like these are good envelopes. I don't wanna waste these. So I might keep the envelopes, but I'm gonna get rid of these finally, recycle them because they're like a, a card stock and the box. No, I'm gonna keep the box with the envelopes. See, I'm bad at getting ring stuff, but that's three things. This is one thing, this is two things, this is three things. So now I'm back on track. So tomorrow I have to get rid of three things. So that's my update. And I just had a gnarly batch of the zoomies where he like literally 
parkoured his little ass on my couch and then zoom and then just burst out the door and it was zooming around the backyard. It's a lot, but I'm going to take this down to recycling and I'll take those two things to the trash. Right? Meow. Also reading. I finished the book by Christina C. Jones last night. I really liked it. However, I need to start reading more about the synopsis because I just was like, oh, Christina C. Jones, this one looks cool. It's pretty short. I was crying reading this book because there was a subplot with family members and like Alzheimer's and loss and alcohol abuse and I was like I thought I was getting you know just a nice little wrong call and that's not what it was so I'm gonna write a short review up in Goodreads just to put any content warnings you should be aware of but it was really good was, again I thought I was getting something like fun and they did have some fun but there was a lot of sadness also but anyway I finished that last night and today I started the Zodiac Academy Signs of serial killer. And I don't know how I feel about it. I'm like 20% in. So, update to come. But anyway, I just wanted to do that because I didn't do it yesterday. So if you're decluttering with me, get rid of some stuff. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Luckily, I have pictures of Nigel in the in the little vest. It's my little trash I'm taking out. Have some other stuff and then recycling, recycling. Bye bye. Hey, boo boo. You ready to go to bed? Mama's gonna brush her teeth. Hi. Oop, my mirror's dirty. I love this snail mucin. It's like, I love doing this. <laughs> mm. I love this stuff and I love having a jar. Nini, I don't use eye cream anymore. Like I've tried, it just, it's not gonna do anything for me. These bags have been with me since forever. And the only thing that's gonna change it is under eye filler. So I just like try to hydrate under my under eye and my, okay, I know we're going to bed in a minute. Over eye and I just put a little extra of this on it, that's it. And uh, hey, okay, Nigel, we're about to go to bed. So oh, that's it. We're gonna go to sleep. Put on some hand cream and then I'm gonna take the sleepy one to bed. It's so dramatic. Good night. Hey friends, it's me. I'm looking at mass. It is Sunday, Easter Sunday, and uh, we had a pretty big thunderstorm. So it's later than I intended to update y'all and to be in this here kitchen. It's, oh my God, it's already 4.53. And so I thought last night to make Nigel's Easter slash belated birthday <laughs> belated gotcha day cake. I should have done it last night. I didn't. So I'm about to make it now. Um, it's going to be like sweet potato, applesauce, dog friendly, safe things. So I'm about to make that because for his birthday, which is my birthday, we were in Norway. And then his gotcha day was two days ago. And I'm like, I'm just going to wait and do it all on Easter. And he has a little his little Easter basket so I'm gonna give him the cake and it has a little topper and it's gonna be really cute I'll, I'll show it here um, I'm gonna take a million pictures of course and I also for myself because <laughs> he can't have cake and I don't want cake I guess Andrew can have some of it I love me a box cake if you follow me on Twitter you saw my controversial take that most box 
most box cake tastes better than homemade cake so i got a classic strawberry cake to make for the human Ooh, and nigel will have his dog cake so you'll see what i put in it and i'm gonna put on some reading spreads like a replay it's been kind of all the content i've been consuming recently and uh yeah that's it for right now i haven't gotten rid of my three things for today i am going to do it but this is the first time I'm picking up the camera so we'll see as i'm straightening up this counter so that you have space so i am 60 percent into the zodiac academy and i really don't know how to feel it is so like it's not like it's it's not like it's like the worst thing i've ever read but there are just some things in it where i'm like you know that's just that's just what it's giving me and some of the choices of like characterization i'm like i don't know i don't know so i don't have a lot to say about that book because i don't even know how to feel but anyway all right you get to oh don't look at my taco bell cup yes i had nachos mind your business <laughs> Well, it is in the oven, and then obviously it'll have to cool if I can frost it. So I should have done this earlier because it's already 5 12. Like, it's gonna be late evening. But then, like, after his cake comes out, I should put my cake in so my cake can cool and I can frost it. Wow. Not good planning on my end. But I need to um, get back to reading. Yeah, I don't know. Have any of y'all read Zodiac Academy? It's like fine. It is definitely inspired by Harry Potter. And I know people like, like every magic school is not Harry Potter, but this is definitely like, hmm. I know that's a dog cake, but it kind of smells good. Let me stop. Okay, I gotta wash up these dishes and um, then get my cake ready. So, okay, check in later. I still have to get rid of my things for today. I did not forget, I just have to do it, okay? Okay. Happy Easter. Belated birthday. And got your day to the baby. Mama's cake might be ugly, but it tastes good, don't it? What is it? Sweet potato, some strawberries, some peanut butter, some Greek yogurt. <laughs> is it yummy? Okay, 
Okay, hello. I'm filming, okay, please. Let me move those towels because you look raggedy. The towel, you can't even stand behind. You smell raggedy. Go take a shower. Oh, look at all that fine meat. Ooh, he a little hoochie. Yeah. <laughs> Got his Daisy Dukes on. I love it. More men with thigh meat, please. Okay. It is, I don't know what day it is. Oh, already Wednesday. It's April 420. Dang. We ain't, got, weed every day. we ain't got no weed. Know, you can't even smoke weed. I know, but you know. It don't even matter. I gotta make brownies for. It. Okay, it's 420. It's 420. I forgot to like wrap up the vlog, but I obviously did my. So what was it? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Wait, did I even film the stuff I was getting rid of or did I do it on Monday? I think I did it on Monday. I don't think in this vlog you see the stuff I got rid of on Sunday. I think you'll see it in the next one because I did catch up on Monday, so don't worry. Um, and so out of my reading, uh, my favorite was, what is, I cannot remember what it's called. Fastest way to fall. If you could not tell, obviously the TikTok, you can't hear the sound, but the sound is Fantasia going, I love it, I love it. Yes, I love it. Sorry. Um, oh my gosh, just sing that. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Uh, loved it so much. I was crying. I was happy. I was just like in my feelings. I love them so much. I, like, I just felt so invested in the relationship. Shut up. <laughs> like I was like, you guys are meant to be. It just felt so good. Five stars. Five stars. And then the next one would be the. I don't remember what anything's called. What's it called? Elevation. Equi equivalent exchange. Like I told y'all. Uh, Lots of heavier topics in it than I was expecting. So more emotion, um, you know, less, not rom com and more like a romance, yes, but still some heavy topics, but I still enjoyed that because it's Christina C. Jones. So like <laughs> four stars. And then I read this on the Academy, which I didn't even rate yet. I would give it two stars. I have a full video about it, spoilery and non-spoilery that I'll link if you wanna watch that to get my thoughts because I just, I kept having hope, but it kept getting worse. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that was that. I, yeah, I meant to have this video out sooner, but I'm me, so I'm not. So you should be seeing this tomorrow on Thursday, which will be 421, whatever. I look a mess because that's my uniform. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed this hope you got rid of some things along with me or will get rid of some things um if you have how many things or if you want to tell me what you got rid of it is feeling good to do this so i haven't had a, a day yet where i've been like i can't get rid of anything so feeling good hope you join me there um and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this oh I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out my description. There's always stuff. <laughs> but stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.